I get to see her in the outfit? And there we are, my darling girl. I wish you a splendiferous evening. And if you don't mind my asking, have you any interest in modeling? What? Oh, no, ma'am. All them eyes staring at me? I couldn't. No way, no how. I get scared just thinking on it. I wish you weren't so shy, my Violet. You truly are beautiful. I hope your date sees that as clearly as I. Where am I supposed to find spacer gear? If I were an enterprising spacer in need of a wardrobe, I'd probably head to the Groundbreaker. Alright. Interesting. So I gotta get three sets of outfits. I actually wish I wouldn't have sold them all. Duke Vardy, find a snazzy outfit for her date. See if she needs anything else. Oh. The doctor from here, do I have to be on the ship? Oh, can you believe this outfit? It's so handsome, I'm almost afraid to touch it. Well, I guess that's everything then. After all this time, I can, I just have to actually do it now. Y you know, Better. There's, there's a part Jules has been bits. looking for to fix up the air cyclers. They only carried them on big colony ships, like the Hope. Party making every little thing perfect won't change your feelings. I know. For a while, it felt like everything I did was a little bit of help. And it meant I didn't have to ask her to be mine. Not yet. Not for real. Next time we dock with Groundbreaker, I'm doing it. I'll send June a message and ask her over. Oh, this is real scary, Captain. I'm oh, grateful shit. for all you've done. All right. Hers. Hello, Byzantium. Where else are you going to find art, culture, fucking toilets? Mm -hmm. This way. What's that in the box? You take real good care of your pencil, Doctor Fenton. I oughta. Can't be alive this long. 25% surcharge, huh? Uh, let's see. We sell junk. And you know what? We're just going to sell all of this. There was a sell all. I've not used a single one of these the entire game. This should free up some weight, though. Stuff. 
There's an end in sight. How much weight do these do? Well, these are actually kind of, uh... Yeah, some weight to them, don't they? Helps out on the way here, don't it? There you go. Hundred twenty nine in weight. That might be okay. Makes me kind of cheap. I feel the same way about my rent. No kids at school, that does the job. Feelings got nothing to do with it. There's my parents' place. Smell that? Industrial grade cleaning solvent and desperation. Am I supposed to go in first? Oh, did I sell all my healing? I think I just sold all my healing. I did. Whoops. that often parents won't miss them, will they Marilyn is that you Mars, we certainly didn't expect to see you like this and I didn't expect you to renew your marriage contract. But we're all full of surprises today, aren't we? Speaking of surprises, you should meet my new friend. We've been running around the system for a while now, stirring up all sorts of trouble. Been on the floor, fancy place. Probably taking a few things with me. There you go again, Captain. Always menacing, polite society. <laughs> anyway, you're probably wondering where I've been all this time. Not <clears throat> exactly. The last few years have been a bloody haze. You wouldn't believe the messes we've gotten ourselves into. Right? Death and vandalism, profanity, you name it. Done it at least twice. Yep. We're a pair of disgraceful lowlifes. Marilyn, this really isn't the best time. Uh, perhaps you should go. We'll stay as long as we like. And while we're at it, we'll drink your expensive hooch, wear our outside shoes all over your nice floors. <laughs> Uh, hold up. These floors aren't just nice. They're top quality marble. He's right. Since 
when can you afford authentic Terran marble? That's what we've been trying to tell you, dear, but you must understand, we hadn't heard from you in ages. We thought Just you were dead. Took her inheritance. I'm not dead. I just never wanted to talk to you again. I'm afraid the distinction was lost on us, darling. Listen. What did you do? Why, we did what any grieving parents would do. We collected on your life insurance policy. And the payouts have been rather uh, substantial. You what? I'm just gonna listen. Well, now that I'm here, I guess you'll just have to report back that I'm very much alive and kicking. It's not that simple. For one thing, we'd have to cut back on so many necessities. The neighbors would be sure to notice. Oh my. Listen. Why did you do that? We had to explain your disappearance somehow. We couldn't very well tell people you'd you'd run off to become a a miscreant, could we? I'll have you know she's a professional miscreant. Shh. Someone could hear you. <laughs> we concocted a story about Celeste Jolly Girl designing a pair of twelve inch heels for you. One of a kind, naturally. That led to your tragic death when you tripped and broke your neck. It was <laughs> quite the story. People were talking about it for weeks. Couldn't you have at least made up a better story? Something with pirates or raptodons? And what are you going to do now that we're here? Yes, um, about that. We were just about to ask you to... Uh, uh, leave. Quietly, if you don't mind. I'm afraid it would cause quite a stir if the neighbors saw you two stomping about. That's it? You just want us to disappear now? Marilyn, please. Don't cause a scene. Fine. I'm gone. Forever this time. Wow. Let's talk outside. What? Everybody can see us. Can you believe those two? We'd hardly been there a minute and they turned us out like yesterday's garbage. Uh, they shouldn't have gotten so upset. I wanted them to get upset. I just thought it would play out differently. They'd both be sitting there watching one of their vapid aether wave dramas and then we'd walk in Mother would drop her mock apple cider, and the glass would shatter all over their overpriced marble. Father would <laughs> tear off his glasses and blink open-mouthed. And then what? I'd have a great one-liner in the tube. I was thinking either, the leather's fake, but the scars are real, or... Oops, did I just track awesome onto your rug? <laughs> what? Father would throw his hands up. Because this would be just like me to come back and make a big scene. Then mother would do the old, you had us worried sick. Her eyes would be red and she'd have her fist in front of her mouth to stifle a sob. You're really hurt, aren't you? I'm not hurt. I'm outraged. Affronted even. I just didn't want to get booted out of the house I grew up in like that. It's embarrassing, you know. And I've got a reputation to maintain. Alright, it's a rough situation. 
I'm used to rough situations. Like when someone loads your pistol with blanks and strands you in a Marauder Moon base, or traps you in an airlock with an angry mantis worm. Episode reflects on them, not you. But I want to talk about me now. You got yourself uh, surrounded with people who really, uh, who will really look out for you. Unless you mean the kind who look out for you to blink so they could swipe your bits. The galaxy's not exactly crawling with those. <laughs> anyway, I don't want to sift through this lousy experience for meaningful life lessons. I'm mad, and I want to do something about it. Something like. Wait a second. What if I could get that money? Talking. I could open a new account, designate that account holder as a sole beneficiary. All the payouts would go to me. I'll make money without doing a thing. And I'll get to cut them off. How do we do this? My policy is with the Greater Halcyon Insurance Group. They have an office in Byzantium. Maybe you could use some of your people skills to help me set up a dummy beneficiary account. Uh, my persuasion is not that all that good. doesn't work, I'm sure we can find one of their terminals and do it ourselves. Hacking, I can do. All right. Stranger I saw in the square. Nope. We have to do some hacking. The dissidents actually took Soul letter in the mailbox is addressed to the Greater Halcyon Insurance Group Satellite Office in Fallbrook. Planet. I guess we're going to Fallbrook. Alright. Trying to kill... Try that one. We're just running back and forth, aren't we? Right across the street, we're killing their neighbors. Monarchs. You think the privy is gold plated too? Laboratory access. Unseal entrance. Put the logs. I received a message that an unauthorized user was looking through the files at my Cascadia terminal. Maybe some marauder with uh, two firing brain cells? Maybe not. I hope whoever it is understands the sacrifices made on Monarch and HRS 1084 served a higher purpose. One day, 
When all of us have attained a new state of being, humanity may forgive my sin. When worst suspicions are confirmed, HRS 1084 was ransacked. Who knows what became of the suspension tanks and my team. As usual, my handlers on the board are no help. Until I deliver results, they can replicate, uh, package, and disperse the general population. They desire only silence and obedience from the likes of me. Circumstances were hardly optimal and are at the primary and secondary labs. Political instability pulled Cascadia out from under me, and some combination cabin fever and paranoia soured HRS 1084. Perhaps my home in Steadfast Byzantium will offer the real retreat I need. Though I miss working alongside my alongside colleagues, I know that I hardly deserve the ones I so enjoy. The ones I lost. The work continues in isolation and loneliness, perhaps as it should. Ever since our species became aware of itself, we impose our superiority on the worlds we touched. Colonialism worked for a time. But our oldest trick didn't work in Halcyon, did it? Now we are the ones who must bow to the force greater than ourselves. We are the ones who must adapt. Update. Wine makes me too introspective, perhaps. I'll bounce it out with vodka. So... Guess here? No? I guess what's wrong. Oh, here. Lights are on. That's far enough. What are you doing here? How did you even get inside? Get two fire and brain cells. Lilia Hagen sent me to kill you. If anyone ever tries to off me, I hope they do it with the same professional courtesy. Hagen? I've never heard of her. Is she from the board? Damn it. I knew this would happen. Lily runs Sublight Salvage on Groundbreaker. Good boss. Bit of a live wire. That's a gentlemanly way of putting it, Captain. She's obsessed with aliens. This is utter nonsense. I've never even been to Groundbreaker. Been to Cascadia. Station 1084. I know all your dirty secrets. What happened to the team? Tell me you didn't move their suspension tanks. Sounds like took over the lab. Your human aquariums are probably just office decor. Small consolation. My team, the finest minds of their generation, reduced to salvage. What were they trying to prove by experimenting on themselves? We were trying to prove that the colony could survive the crisis bearing down on us. What crisis? What are you doing, Doctor? This information is beyond classified. You can you write know. me up in your report. It hardly matters. Kill her? I'm researching a new way to feed the colony. The crops we transplanted from Earth don't give us the nutrients we need. Our colonists might not realize it yet, but they're starving. Doesn't explain the research I found. The food we grow here barely sustains human life. The colony won't last under these conditions. So the board let me approach the problem from a different angle. I believe that I could adapt humans to live on Halcyon's terms. That I could change us. Give us the ability to derive sustenance from the nutrients the food does have. Mutate us? The adaptation didn't save your research team? Not for lack of trying. I wanted to save them all, but I wasn't strong enough. You burned through a lot of uh, valuable science uh, scientists to arrive at a zero solution. I wouldn't allow us to experiment on convicts or the unemployed. It's wrong, no matter what the law says. Everyone agreed. We accepted the risks. I'm desperate. I've already asked all the best institutes on Earth for help. Years ago, we sent a message out on the Cornelius Vanderbilt, but heard nothing back. Isn't the Cornelius Vanderbilt one of the assault cruisers patrolling Halcyon? It's been missing for over two years now. They never re-established contact after the skip to Earth. Of course, the board is keeping that under wraps. 
Imagine losing something with that many guns on it. How'd you lose half a pair of ships like it were a sock? The board is uneasy about letting the colony know, seeing as half of their military force vanished without a trace. Lily sent me after a conspiracy, but it looks like I found a cover up instead. I prefer if you didn't use my name when you talk about this. My contract has a list of very terrible consequences for breaking secrecy. Board wants to adapt the entire population of Halcyon? Once we can replicate a success, the board will move to rewire our nucleon. With any luck, our next generation will be eating and thriving off Halcyon crops. Knowing what the board considers a success, that doesn't give me a lot of hope. Yeah. You really think the board got our best interests at heart? I mean, they say, but I'm just not sure. We haven't made enough strides to advance the plan. Hardly any at all. But we have to keep trying. Hello, the story. Lilia Hagen still wants me to kill you. If I die, there's no one who can reproduce our work. Every sacrifice will have been for nothing. And we'll be no closer to a solution that feeds the colony. Hmm. Well, this is a different turn. You know Phineas Wells? If you work with him, I'll spare you. What do you think, Ellie? I try not to, at least when it comes to the moral dilemmas. Lilia Hagen's a useful ally to have, but I'll back you up either way. I hope you know what you're doing, Captain. I leave it in your hands. Uh Phineas Wells? The one on the wanted posters? They say he's an anarchist. A madman, a butcher. I'll do it. Doctor! What choice do I have, Commander? Uh, board reputation decreased. I didn't take much uh convincing. If working with Wells is the only way I can save the colony, then I will damn well do it. I need to get out of here. Phineas can contact me when he's ready That's to work. That's the person would have shot her. For now, I had better pack up the lab and head somewhere discreet. Not so fast. Captain, what you just learned is beyond your clearance. Hell, it's beyond mine. Give me one reason why I should let you walk out of here alive. Less work than hauling my corpse out of here. Wrong answer. I figured that. I'll do either that or attack him. Here we go. Oh, there's more. Nothing. I hope Dr. Wells has the resources to handle this project. Not sure how that quest turned out now after I did that. Lily wants to know what happened to Dr. Shortrand Estate. She can be found at Sublight Headquarters Ground Bar. Okay, so we got Brownbreaker for two things. 